this emergency. Warning markers for firearms. Get on the ground! Rock it in, rock it in, rock it in. He's now off in the field. Derbyshire's traffic cops. It is Try and keep up with it. Battling crime in the middle of the country. Open the door now! He smashed down a pollard. How he's done now? From the picturesque peaks. Treating it as life threatening. To the inner cities. Yeah, he's done me. This side, this side. He's going to decamp. It's a decamp, decamp. Four runners. Under threat. You do what I tell you. Do not put your hands anywhere near your pockets. And at risk. Watch him. Motron, motron. Run two traffic cars now. Around every corner. Don't bulk it. There's a new challenge. Hands on the wall. For the traffic cops. Coming up. He's now overtaking the wrong side of the road. Bank holiday boozing. It's collided, collided. Puts lives at risk. That's some of the worst driving I've ever seen. He's now off in the field. It's tested positive for cocaine. Come on, stand up. Officers take the hard line. It's absolutely hammered. Yeah. He was that drunk, he's not been breathalyzed. With the dangerous. I have a feeling it will felt yourself. How much have you had to drink? And those refusing to face the truth. No, I've not. I've just been No, you've there. not. I've just seen you driving the bloody car. Yeah. Come here, mate. I'm not finished with you, pal. And there's car park chaos when a desperate suspect oh, on the floor. tries to flee a test. Garbage, please, sir. Can I help? Oscar Tango 25. Uh, we've had a report of a, uh, a possible uh, drink driver. Across Derbyshire, during the bank holidays, police receive hundreds of reports a day involving alcohol and drugs. OK, OK, leave it with us. We'll get, uh, we'll get officers out of there. My personal feelings on drink drivers, they are the lowest of the low, so it's my job to take them off the road. 90 minutes into what's expected to be a busy 12-hour night shift, the traffic cops are spread out across the force area. It's going to be busy. Traffic cop Jim Payne is 10 miles south of Derby, looking for drivers under the influence. I'll often position the vehicle out of view of them until they're passing me. It's not long before a silver Citroen Picasso catches his attention. Sometimes it's down to old-fashioned police and you look at a vehicle and you realise that something's not quite right with it. An A from Oscar Tango 1-4. Um, just in relation to my permissions, I'm in a marked bird policing vehicle. Intention at the minute is just to follow while everybody's driving normally. Yeah, I'm directly behind the vehicle, so he's obviously aware of my presence. As soon as I put the lights on, I had this feeling that this is going to be the point that this vehicle's going to go. As I'm in a marked bird policing vehicle, suit management trained. The cars continued, but not really drove that much quicker. It uh, took a left, possibly to try and evade me. The Citroen turns off the main roads, forcing Jim to slow down. The cars continued just to get that bit ahead and managed to pull out of sight. As the suspect speeds away... Yeah, vehicles hit the AMPR camera. Control alerts traffic cop Matt Copestake to the location of the suspect's car. Traffic is moderate. Road service is dry. Unfortunately for the subject, I'd been round that area for the last hour. Now directly behind the vehicle. Speed is 4-0. Now overtaking on the wrong side of the road, DRA medium back to low. Three occupants, one male driver, female front seat passenger. Right, right, right now. The adrenaline's going, you're constantly looking around for and risk assessing. Brett Delane. As the suspect fails to stop, Matt follows him into a residential area. It's a big concern about what lies ahead. You're thinking about pedestrians on the road, kids out playing on the streets other road users. It's now wrong side of the roundabout, DRA high. At that moment, obviously what's going through your mind is this guy's prepared to do anything to get away. 50 miles an hour. It's Brett Lane. Back towards Repton. Speed is 7-0. Enters the Nationals. Continues 
Leaving the built-up area, the driver takes to country lanes. Now that presents a risk in itself because you can't see what's coming round the bend and the width of the roads are constantly changing from narrow single track into areas where you can fit two cars. It's heavy on the brakes, speed six zero. So right, 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 back towards Harsh on. He's now overtaking wrong side of the road. He's collided, collided. He's a box van. He still continues though. That's some of the worst driving I've ever seen. He had no business even attempting that overtake. It was clear he was going to run out of road and I think he was very, very lucky not to injure himself or someone else. He still continues. It was a side swipe to the near side. He's got extensive near side damage. Anyone would think that that would be enough to stop any driver from continuing, but he put his foot down and tried to get away with half of his car missing. It's a single track road. Extensive near side damage. After 20 minutes, the pursuit has come full circle with the driver back where he was first seen. Approaching junction standby. He's right, right, right. In my experience, people who are trying to get away from the police always head to areas they know. Still on unknown road. Expecting he's going to come out on the main heart shown Tickle Road. It's better for them if they know the roads and what twists and turns it's got in store for us. Back Repton Road, Repton Road. I believe we're back towards Bretby. Continues Repton Road. Speed is 5 0 in the national. Yeah, it's a drive in's erratic round these corners. I'm just giving him some room. Speed 6 0 in the nationals. Heavy braking round offside bend. Yeah, he's losing control a bit now. Just backing off, giving him room. Entering Bretby again now. <laughs> Continuing to drive around in circles, the suspect goes off road again, up the same track as earlier. He's now off in the field. Coming up. I'm driving now like this. The Picasso driver tries to make a run for it across a field. The driver's already gone to custody. Come here, mate, I'm not finished with you, pal. A tip off ends yeah, yeah. in a car park foot chase. What was that all about then, Pa? And a drink driver putting lives at risk. Right, relax. Can't stand up. It's absolutely hammered. He's now overtaking wrong side of the road. After a 25-minute chase along country lanes during a busy bank holiday weekend... It was a side swipe to the near side. He's got extensive near side damage. A fail-to-stop Picasso driver tried to escape traffic cop Matt Copestake... He's now off in the field. ..before losing control and crashing. The driver then opened the door and ran out into this field where we detained him. The driver's already gone to custody. He blew 55. The suspect is denying he was driving the car. You're driving it like this. While the traffic cops recover the Picasso. Hold on, I'll put this quarter pan on. PC Paul Barker will interview the passengers to find out who was driving. Where are the passengers now? They're gone. No, the passengers are over here. Right, OK. Come over here, mate. What time did he pick you up? What time did he pick you up? Uh, Five. And he was all right. He was, he was, he was, he was speaking like everything was normal. And then you guys, one of the cars come behind us, and he started panicking. And then he just says, "Don't worry." And then the next minute, wham. so I started to panic, and we said, "What's wrong?" And he said, "Don't worry." And then he started to drive fast. 
I've never experienced this. We're lucky to be alive, to be fair, to be honest. Right, if you can just squiggle in that in that little great box there. That's it. Okay, you can go. Go and go. Jed, yeah? Yeah. Not that far away, anyway. Right, all right. All right. The passenger is free to go, but the suspect will remain in custody to be questioned. In my opinion, he's, he's taken off because he believed he was over the limit uh, for drinking and driving, and also he was a disqualified driver, um, so he obviously had a lot to hide. The fact that he's driven at those speeds and failing to stop for the police all during a pursuit whilst drunk is just beggar's belief. It's a busy bank holiday, and calls are piling up in force control. Yeah, you're through to the police. What's happening? A tip-off from the public has come in about a suspected drink driver. Okay, leave it with us. We've got officers travelling to you. You're okay. Yeah, one six. Uh, I'm going to be coming along from Little. Yeah, it's a uh, Mercedes. Traffic cop Matt Copestake is responding. What's the reg? Right, there's potential drink driver in Stoke in Derby, which is just the other side of where we are. Just about to leave store in a white Mercedes. Uh, apparently can't walk straight. So we're going to try and intercept him before he uh, does some damage. Tip-offs from the public are quite common. It can be quite rare to get in the situation where there's one about to leave. It's crucial that we get there before he leaves so we can detain him. Still on the phone, the mail's still in the store, apparently. He's going to come out of there, but there is another entrance if he decides to go the other way. From 1-6, I've got eyeball on the uh, exit if he comes this way, and then if other units uh, can plot up Queensway. We've got it all covered now. Oh, I've got that entrance covered, mate. It's in and beyond the trees. We come out from the thing. Nice no, one. Um, there's a local and me covering this exit, so uh, he's got to come past one of us. Lovely. I don't know why people do drink driving. It's uh, it's a despicable thing to do. You're not in your right mind if you get behind the wheel of a car when you're drunk. Unfortunately, on the road to policing unit, we see the extreme consequences of uh, what happens when people get behind the wheel when they've had a drink. And uh, it devastates lives, unfortunately. Do you want to that right, T? On the other side of the car park, traffic cop Andy Wright has stopped the suspect driver. Coming in now, mate. He's in car park. He's tried to exit out there and then he's reversed back into the car park. 1686, huh? Oh. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you Driving. doing in that? Driving. Don't move over till I tell you it's not going anywhere. Is it your car? Thank you. Proper's car. All right. Yeah. Just sit tight till we're finished with him. All right. Yeah, I'll be patient with you too. All right, nice deep breath. Look, continue to work. Thanks for the last day stop. We hear it click. Okay. I've had to appoint a special request for me. Okay, fail or refuse, it's effective to be arrested for speaking for Nice deep breath. Blow, 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 blow. Stop. Thank you. Hmm. Have you had anything else to talk? I'll get a wipe, mate. Is there? Uh... Passed his breath test, uh, so we're just going to do a drug wipe on him. He does, he does seem quite intoxicated. Hopefully not keep you much longer, mate. Hopefully not keep you much longer. All right. Come here, mate. I'm not finished with you, pal. Get here. On the floor. Get down now. Put your face down. Face down now. 
Oh, what have we done? What have we done? Go on, boy. Live! Go wild! Put your arm around your back. Put your other arm around your back. Just relax. Put your other arm around your back. Roll over. Get your other arm out. Behind your back. Other arm now. Behind your back. Come on. What have we done? Just relax your arm. Come on, pal. That's it. Relax, <laughs> right. Sit you up, mate. What was that all about then, pal? He's off the steps. No, he ain't, mate. Yeah, yeah. mate. You, Stay mate. sat down. Just relax yourself. Stay where you are. Yeah, right, mate, I'm going to perform a drug wipe on you, all right? Yeah. Failure to do so is an offence for which you'll be arrested, all right? Open your mouth for me. Open your mouth wider. Do your cheek and your other cheek. Right, we'll lift you up. Stand up. Can you put your legs underneath yourself? Push yourself up, please. Ready? One, two, three. Stand up. Stand up. Right, I'm going to get you in my car. Get your bit of nice back off. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just sit in there, mate. Yeah. Sit in. Oh. Whose car is it then, that? My brother. Your brother's? Are you insured on it? Yeah. What are you running for then? I What else you had? Nothing. Well, it'll show up on here, won't yeah, it? Well, you see. Yeah, it's blown zero, mate. Blown zero? Yeah. Right. Okay, lovely. What do you mean? Why am I demeaning us? So what was you waiting for then? You seem under the influence of something, okay? So what you've, do you you've, mean? you've passed your breath test. Well, so I, I, I suspect. You seem under the influence listen, listen, of something. I've seen you. you. Because you're slurring your words. What, to who? To me now. No, so why was right you waiting in the first place? Right now. Why okay. was you waiting in the first place? Incident reported. On what? The, there may be an intoxicated male driving your car. So that's why we've stopped you. So you've passed your, passed your breath test, but I'm of the opinion you're under the influence of something. So I performed a drug wipe on you. So it's very much like a pregnancy test, so it's taken a saliva sample of him and it tests for cannabis or cocaine. If another line comes up in either of the uh, windows, uh, we have a positive test for either of those substances. Faint line, mate, but it's there. Oh, I'm happy. Yeah. He provided a positive drug wipe. It's tested positive for cocaine. All right, so at this time you're under arrest on suspicion of driving. Yeah, yeah. Driving whilst over the prescribed limit of a controlled drug, namely cocaine. You're going to be taken to cells where you'll be asked to provide a blood sample. All right? Can you take him in and I'll follow you down? Yeah. All right. Come on, then we'll get you in this car. Follow you straight down. Yeah. Cheers, mate. It's the faintest of lines, but it's there, and it's just given us that indication that he's, uh, he's had something, so... Well, I'll take your cuffs off, mate. Keep your hands where I can see them. Been stopped driving a white Mercedes, uh, exiting car park by my colleague. Um, exited from the driver's seat. He's provided a positive drug wipe, indicating cocaine in his system. He's been arrested to allow prompt and effective investigation and secure and preserve evidence. Matt needs the man to take a blood test to prove if he's over the limit for drugs. Well, I'm just going to have to go through these forms with you, and then we'll crack, crack on. All right, yeah. He wants to establish if the suspect has any other substances in his system that may affect the blood test. Are you currently taking or using any drugs or medication prescribed or supplied to you for medicinal or dental purposes? Even with prescription medication, it is very much like the drink drive limit, as there is a limit to how much you can have in your bloodstream to be still be legal to drive. You weren't even a positive test. Right, you weren't even a line there. Where, you show me it. There was, mate. Can I see it, please? You can in a bit, yeah. I'd like to have a look. Faintest of lines in I the like cocaine. To have a look. You can have a look. It's fine. Is a faint line not a negative? The fact that there's a line there. Don't the matter how faint it is. Controlled line. Controlled yeah, line there. And then there's another line. Yeah. If it's faint, it's negative. It's not. If it's yeah, ne listen, if it's negative, there's no line at all. No. There's no significance to the fact that it was a faint line. It's an indication whether it's a strong line or a faint line. Are you ready? ready? It could be just yeah. that the chemicals haven't reacted as strongly in the drug wipe itself. 
Right, listen, it indicates that you may have cocaine in your system. It's not 100% accurate, so the blood sample will determine whether you have. So if you think I've come here for no reason with you, you're very much mistaken. All right? So we'll leave it at that. Thank you very much for your time. See you later. Thanks for sticking up to you. You're about six inches up the home. I'll just stand here a minute, mate. I'm just going to build the offence, Joe, and then he's ready to go. Yeah, we've obtained a blood sample now, so that's going to be sent away for forensic analysis um, to see if he's got any substances in his system. Thank you very much. I shall show you out then. Yes, this way. Yeah. As a roads policing officer, drink and drugs are the bread and butter of what we do. It impairs people's driving at the end of the day, and they shouldn't be on the road. Coming up. Bank holiday drink drivers. Cause danger on the roads. What is the alleged event? And refuse to face the truth. Failed to provide. Failed to provide a blue into the tube. He's all over the road. Oh, the wretch, please. What's the wretch, please? I, I don't want to get that close, to be honest. It's a busy bank holiday and a 999 call has come in from a member of the public about a suspected drink driver. And he's been driving on the hard shoulder, yeah? Well, he's, he's, kind of, he's in the inside lane, but he keeps swerving all over everywhere. 30 miles from the centre of Derby, traffic cop Andy Wright is looking for the car. We've got BW Golf, great. There used to be a witching hour when the pubs finished at 11. Nightclubs be kicking out at two. Now it's drinking as and when, then yeah, you can get your witching hours out all over the time. The driver looks like he may have had an accident. Along with other units, Andy parks up by the dual carriageway. Right, I'm off the roundabout on that first um, T junction. What I'll do is if he, if he comes, I'll shout him out on 90. And then uh, if it fails to stop, I'll switch straight to channel two. Yeah, one eight one two. Any time now, any time now. Moments later, Andy spots the suspect driver. Yeah, I'll be on this vehicle now. Yeah, he's all over the place. From lane to lane. It's serial lights on. One there. Okay, look to the just behind Andy, another unit is in position to help surround the car and box it to a stop. At force control, a senior officer assesses the risk of the pursuit. Hang on, eight and ECO one. I'm aware of this now. Um, happy with what the plan is. Um, continue to analyse the service. Just an addition: if it does fail to stop, you are an issue of pursuit tactics. Uh, just keep up to date if that happens. Yeah, two, four, I think he's uh, probably goading a little bit with speed increasing, they're dropping. Come away again from lane one to two. They'll know that he's now has got a marked police vehicle behind. I'm thinking, is he goading me? What is he trying to do? Further up the road, traffic cop Paul Barker is ready to join the pursuit. The driver possibly going to be coming off back that way, but you never know, he might come off here, he might carry on. Be that pissed. There he is. Paul drops in behind to hold the traffic back. Tango 31 in the stick. On mark to high performance vehicle, pursuit management train. Speed now increased. So 60. He's in the centre lane. Right, let's get it on then, let's get it in the 
Right, your safety's on. While Paul keeps his colleague safe, Andy steers the suspect off the motorway. Yeah, I've got him to pull it out. He's an absolute shit face. Yeah, vehicle's uh, heading towards the services now. Looks like he's talking about it. One person in it. I just want to get him beyond, uh, beyond this curve here so I can't see him back out. He was absolutely hammered. He just looked at me with, with like a dazed look, not believing what was happening. There was a vodka bottle on the floor, there was cans all over it. He absolutely stank of it. Under arrest, section four, the road traffic act. Okay, you don't have to do May on defence, not mention a question. Something which relates to the line of call. Anything you do say, may be given an evidence. Okay, the rest is necessary to our prompt investigation. All right. Swing the legs round. It's fresh damage to the car, I can't open the door. Yeah. Have you got a driving licence? Yeah. Yeah. Jump up, mate. Jump in, mate, relax. Have you got anything on you that you shouldn't have? Have you got anything in your pockets that you shouldn't have? No. Drugs, weapons, knives, anything like that? Yeah, I've got his phone on, Nathan, unfortunately. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Can't stand up. He's absolutely hammered. Yeah, yeah. alright. Okay. As the driver is taken to the police station, Traffic cop Paul Barker continues the search for more bank holiday drink drivers. It was that drunk that uh, he's not been breathalyzed, he's been arrested for being up while driving whilst unfit. I think he's, he's, I don't think he's failed to stop, I just think he's that drunk that he, uh, he doesn't realize what's happening. Early hours of the night shift tend to be looking for drink drivers going home from parties. Uh, they tend to think that if they leave it a bit longer, they might sober up or we won't be looking for them. It's not long before Paul spots a car in the middle of the road. And I Oscar Tangus for a one for 10, 15 vehicle, please. Put the blue lights on and it just carried up the road and pulled to the offside. Hello. Hello, darling. How much have you had to drink? Yeah, not a lot. Not a lot. Yeah. Hey, step out for us. Come and take a seat in my car for me, please. Come on, Ducky. Have you got your car keys? No, I've not. I've no, you've yeah. not. I've just seen you drive the bloody car. Yeah, no. Right. You've had too much to drink, haven't you? Hey. So, you're under arrest. On, suspi on suspicion of driving a motor vehicle whilst unfit through drink or drugs. OK, you don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. You won't mention when questioned something which you're later in any court, anything you say, maybe you're in evidence. OK, necessary for a very prompt and effective investigation, and so you don't uh, disappear. OK, can we take a seat in the back of my car? What am I doing? OK, all right. In a uh, Tango 301, one no. detained at uh, my location. Uh, Excess alcohol. What are you doing with me? We're going to go down to the Ripley Police Station. Why? Please don't do that to me. I just want to go down to my door. When we go down please to the police do. station, listen, listen to me. When we get down to the police station, you take another test, okay? And down, and depending on what that test says, okay, I depends please. on what's going to happen. Okay. So. That's fair enough, but I'm, I'm just tired. Oh, it's all right. Are you allowed to drive that vehicle? Yeah, it's, of course I am. Right, OK. Right, I've explained to you. Where are you taking me? To the police station, you know where... Why? Can I've explained to you, because you're under arrest for driving a motor... for driving a motor vehicle whilst on foot. I didn't drive it. OK, well, that's... You I can... didn't drive that motor vehicle. OK, well, I followed you. I went to the motor vehicle to get some shoes Well... I know you're lying, so... 33 years of doing this, nothing surprises me with people. They'll look you in the face and they'll, they'll lie to you. I don't understand why I'm 
can't explain it to you. I don't know how many times I need to explain it to you. OK. While Paul prepares to check the female in for a breath test, ten miles away at the police station in Derby... Hello. How are you? Traffic cop Andy Wright is dealing with the man he arrested for drink driving earlier. First of all, what's your name? Your hand. Oh, I know. Switch it. Two digits, something. Okay. I'm just having a breath laser. That's right. Yeah. The system is still on. That's what we're doing, mate. We're having a breath laser. Okay. Put your shoes back on. <laughs> Practice, which tells you about our policies and procedures and how we have to look after you. That's you guys have to. That's okay. 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 If you fail to provide, you will definitely commit an offence. By providing, you at least got a chance. Stand up for me, then, please. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it. First one done. Take a seat a minute. So this is your second one. It's got to do the exact same thing you can. Big deep breath. Keep going, keep going. That's it. You've blown 112 and 116. The legal limit being 35, so that is a fail. To be on the road in that state, it could have killed anybody. Um, it could have hit anything and not, it probably won't have even known. It shouldn't be on the road. It, it should be banned for life, really. First of all, some detention at the police station. Until you're yeah, at a level that we're satisfied no, you're fit to be able no, to charge. No, no. I, I need to go home and sleep. You can't. You're going to have to sleep here. No, need... Listen, listen. I am so No, you know, you've blown 100 and something. That's very drunk. And everything else says you're very drunk. So you've got to stay here until you're sober enough to be dealt with. All right. For the suspect. See you in a minute. It's a night in the cells to sober up. For traffic cop Paul Barker, he's now booking in the third drink driver of the shift. She's claiming she wasn't driving. Just come on, out you come. It's a bit much, guys, to say that I just went to my stick up my car for a second. Yeah, Shall all right, come? yeah. Please come and do me. There you go. I don't like liars. Come on. <laughs> they said he was followed uh, along the main road, eliminated the blue lights, eventually stopped. And I got out the vehicle and found a sat in the driver's seat. Asked to exit the vehicle. Yeah, but, yeah, but one there was that the engine was on. I formed the opinion that she was drunk. She was arrested uh, for driving while it's unfit. So you were drunk. Necessity of being a prom all prompt all and effective investigation to stop her disappearing. Right, fair enough. You've handcuffed me. You've brought me yes, and Now can I go and go to bed? I'm moving forward. And what is what is the offence here? Can I go home and go to bed? will be offered the opportunity to buy two specials. That's fine, but I've not driven my car. Will be explained to you, okay? I've not driven my car, so it's fine. No, still that please. No, what's your date of birth, please? For what reason? What's your date of birth, please? For what reason am I not allowed to smoke? You're not allowed to smoke in here. What's your what's your date? No, not yet. No. It is difficult dealing with people that are under the influence of drink or drugs. They're repeating stuff and you're having to repeat things while you've arrested them, things like that. It just gets to a stage where you don't really want to talk to them anymore. Have you taken any drug or medication since your last ride? I've had no drugs or medication. No. Eaten anything? I don't understand what you're asking me. What is the alleged defence? What's the alleged defence? If the driver doesn't give a breath test now, she could be automatically banned. Just sit, sit your bum down. Just relax. I've been doing this job 16 years. You don't have a drink of water because it'll affect that reading. Well, it will. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not playing a game with you and I'm not bartering with you. In the tox lies room, she's argued and argued and argued, just like she was at the front desk. And eventually she tried to blow, but didn't have enough time. Uh, therefore, it's timed out and we are not to argue with her anymore. So she'll get uh, charged with failing to provide. So what's happening now? Then? Go in front of the sergeant and explain that you've, you've, uh, you've not given two samples of breath. Go down there. Failed to provide. I think failed to provide. I'm... 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 I'
Despite the woman's protests, because she's too drunk to drive, she won't be going home. The cell that you're going into, unfortunately, we're full tomorrow. Why am I going into a cell? Uh, so there's no toilet in your cell. There's a buzzer. If you move the toilet in, <laughs> press the buzzer. Okay. Go in the room now. I don't feel my time's been wasted dealing with these people because I know I can, I'll get a conviction at the end of the day and get them off the road because of she's a menace to society by the way that she drives. Coming up... Yeah, I've just been hit by your drunk driver. It's a race against time to catch another suspected bank holiday drink driver. When? Well, have you, you've been involved in a collision. Who's fled from a collision. You're telling me a few white lies and you have actually been out in your car. I have not told you no white lies. Hello, this is Derbyshire Police. Police emergency. What's happening there? It's nearly the end of a bank holiday, but there are more calls coming in about drink drivers. Yeah. Right, OK, whereabouts? Right, listen to me, whereabouts are you? Police emergency. Yeah, I've just been hit by a drunk driver. Um, How do you know they were drunk? Because I can smell his breath. Yeah. And when I said that, actually, we can smell alcohol, he said, I've had a drink. Is he still there now? He's got in his car and drove off. Got the so. An officer's been allocated. I've put that on the incident. We'll also have his details as well. So with RTCs like this, you don't really know what you're going to. Traffic cop Carl Jackson responds to the call. My immediate concern is I need to try and locate him. The obvious place to go is their home address. Yeah, I've got PNC details of the keeper of that vehicle. I'm afraid to pass them. We're only a short distance from that. I need an officer to go to the scene of the collision. That's all I could do with respect to the drink driver. Yeah, where exactly is this collision? Traffic cop Adam Shipley is on hand to assist. As soon as somebody leaves the scene of a collision without giving any details, we start assuming that they've done something wrong. We need to get to the bottom of that and find out why they've left. Is your car drivable? Or... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's actually the damage he's... to it? Is it just pretty much... So he won't have much damage to his car then? No, Has he gone he... into the back of you? He's yes. gone into the back. Yeah. If you look at the front of his, his bumper on the front of his car, you can see there's a black section, that's all. Right. Um... right. I'll take a picture of the damage and everything. Whilst Adam gathers more evidence from the scene, Carl is with the suspect driver at his house. Yes, um, you've been involved in a collision, but you've left the scene. I need to do a few checks with you. When? When? Well, you've been involved in a collision, your vehicle. I've been at home all day. OK, well, that's not what I've been told. Obviously, you've got a can in your hand now, so just come with me. I find it very frustrating that people can't sort of hold their hands up and admit to the fact that they've done it. Um, and the reason for that is they've got a lot to lose, haven't they? Driving licence will, will be gone. Well, let's, let's walk just do it. Yeah. But if people know that before they sit behind the wheel of a car when they're drunk, but they still risk it. Then I was a can of 27. I just got to wait to, a few minutes to do the test as uh, he was sipping a can of when I got to him. Probably had a mouthful out of it, which is all I've had time to do prior to coming back. He's an iron bin out in his car. Runs the address, uh, the bloke's there. I think he's going to, fair to say that he's going to be over the limit from what my colleague said. Yeah. Uh, not breathalyse him yet, but he's denying driving.
driving, then um, that's strong evidence against it. People go out drinking when the weather's nice, and unfortunately that means because there's more people out doing that, there's more people then that get tempted to, to drive home. Drinking drug drivers on a nice bank holiday weekend. No regard for anybody else or themselves. On this spring bank holiday weekend, Derbyshire police dealt with hundreds of incidents linked to drugs or alcohol. One thing I never understand is how people don't see the effects of what drink driving is. If you drink and drive and the worst thing happens, um, as in you, you kill somebody because you're drunk behind the wheel of a car, then you will go to prison. You will lose your licence. And it's not just the family of the deceased that are affected. It's your family. You're, you're a drink driver, you're convicted, you get sent to prison, your name's all in the paper and, and whatnot. So that, that affects everybody you know. And you're the one that's caused it. You're the drink driver and that'll affect you for the rest of your life. In this episode... He's now overtaking wrong side of the road. He's collided, collided. The disqualified driver who drove his car into a field to get away from officers. That's some of the worst driving I've ever seen. Pleaded guilty to drink driving, dangerous driving and driving without insurance. He's gone through that fence yeah. there. He was sentenced to 12 months in prison. Come here, mate, I'm not finished with your pub. The man who tried to run away from the cops. Put your face down. To avoid taking a drug wipe. It's tested positive for cocaine. Has been released under investigation whilst police await the results of his blood test. He's also been reported for driving without a licence or insurance. If found guilty, he could be facing a lengthy driving ban. Yeah, I've got him to pull in, eh? Watching his uh, absolute shit face. The weaving driver who traffic cop Andy arrested. You're blowing 112 and 116, the legal limit being 35. Was found guilty of drink driving and has been disqualified for 22 months and issued with a curfew, a tag and a community order. It's a bank holiday, mate. I'm going to be drunk. The man who admitted being drunk but claimed he hadn't been driving his car. I have done nothing wrong. Was identified via an identity parade by a witness and is due to appear at court on suspicion of drink driving and failing to stop at an accident. OK, well, I followed you. And the suspect who claimed she wasn't driving after a night out I've not driven my car, I think it's fine. I know you're lying, so... ..pleaded guilty to failing to provide and was disqualified from driving for 17 months and ordered to carry out 60 hours of unpaid work. And the traffic cops are back next Monday at 8. With training complete, donning the famous bright red uniform and bearskin, meet the latest Queen's Guard, a year in service, brand new Thursday at 8. Coming up from snaring late night poachers to routine traffic stops descending into danger, an unpredictable police night shift 999 begins brand new next.